Hi, good day everyone. This video is about angles formed by secants and tangents. So I have here our third theorem for this given discussion. So I have the intersecting secants in theory theorem. So according to this theorem, the measure of an angle formed by two secants intersecting in the interior of the circle is equal to the one half of the sum of the measures of its intersected arc. Right. So again. According to this given theorem, let's, for example, let's say we have this given figure, okay? So, we have these two intersecting secants, and for example, you're asked to solve for the value of its um, interior angle. For example, this one, right? So, let's name this one as x. Again, the value of that angle, or x, is half of the sum of its intercepted arcs. So, by the way, where's... Where's the intercepted arc of that angle X? So we have this first arc, we have this arc AB, and we also have this arc CD or DC. Okay, so we need to add the values and divide it by 2. So our formula is X, okay? Angle X is half of the sum of its intercepted arc. Therefore, we have this arc, first arc AB, plus the value of our second arc, which is arc CD. And that's it. So that is our working equation or the formula to solve this given set of problems. Okay? So let's try to answer this given um, example. Right? So for example, we are asked to solve for the value of that angle. Okay? Angle X. We're in the value of arc AB is 50 degrees and CD is 70 degrees. Again, let's write our formula. So again, we have this angle X is equal to the half of the sum of its intercepted arc. So we have this first arc as arc AB plus our second arc, we have arc CD. So we need to add their values, okay? Therefore, X is equals to half of AB. AB is 50 degrees plus CD, that is 70 degrees, right? So just simplify this one. Therefore, we have one half of 50 plus 70, that is 120. So by simplifying this, therefore, half of 120 is equals to 60 degrees. Therefore, x, angle x is equals to 60 degrees. And that is our final answer. Right? So therefore, if this part or this angle is equals to 60 degrees, so automatically its vertical angle or its corresponding angle is or opposite angle is also 60 degrees. Okay, so they are considered as vertical angles. And those vertical angles are always congruent or equal. Right, next. So for our next example, let's say we have this given angle. Again, we're asked to solve for this angle X. We're in BC is equals to 110 degrees and AD is equals to 130 degrees. So do the same thing. Again, same procedure. Um, let's write our formula again. Angle X is equals to the half of its intercepted arc. Again, the intercepted arc of angle X is this arc, arc BC and arc AD, right? So again, that is BC plus AD, right? So we need to add their values. Again, X is half of BC. BC is according to our, uh, according to our figure, that is 110 degrees plus AD, that is 130 degrees, right? So just simplify this one. We have one half of 110 plus 130 right so that is equals to 240 degrees okay and then just multiply the value of half to um 240 again 140 or uh, 240 divided by 2 so that is equals to 120 degrees therefore the value of x is equals to 120 degrees so that is our final answer for this one Okay, next. So let's try to solve our third um, example. Let's say we have this given problem. Okay. All right. So again, um, this time we have this given angle for the interior angle. So we have this fifty degrees. Okay, and then we have this x or arc AB, and we have sixty degrees for arc DC. Now, if you are asked to solve for the value of x, again we will use the same formula the interior angle right so we have this interior part so according to our figure we have 50 degrees again that interior angle is equals to the half 
of the measures of its intercepted arc. Okay, half of the sum of its intercepted arc. So we have arc AB as our first arc plus arc CD. Okay, therefore, 50 degrees is equals to half of AB. AB is equals to X plus CD. That is equal to 60 degrees. Right, so to solve for the value of X, we need to do some manipulation or derivation. And then just solve for the value of x so just isolate the value of x okay so this time we need to um, eliminate our denominator so just multiply this entire equation by 2 okay to cancel out our denominator so cancel out 2 here and then multiply 2 by 50 therefore that is 2 times 50 that is equals to 100 degrees is equals to so we have x plus 60 right so just solve for the value of x so if you want to transpose the value of 60 that is okay it's up to you again by applying APE just subtract 60 both sides okay therefore we have 100 minus 60 that is equals to 40 is equals to x and then cancel out 60 therefore that is our final answer x is equals to 40 degrees okay and then last, last example. Let's try to solve this one. All right. So again, if we have this given angle, okay, x, and then we have this um, values for 80, that is 30 degrees, and mh for uh, as 110 degrees. Again, according to our given theorem, so the value of that interior angle is equal to the half of the sum of its intercepted arc. But the problem is, the intercepted arc of angle x is this one. And this one okay therefore to solve this given problem um, we need to solve for the value of this part first okay let's solve for the value of this one and then let's apply some concept in circles okay especially the vertical angles to solve for the value of x okay now let's proceed so again let's name this angle as angle y All right so therefore if that is angle y, therefore the value of angle y is equal to the half of the sum of its intercepted arc. So we have 80 plus mh or hm. Okay? So angle y is equal to the half of 80, that is 30 degrees, plus mh, that is 110 degrees. Right? So by simplifying this one, it will give us one half of 30 plus 110, that is 140 degrees. Right, so just simplify one up times one forty. Therefore, the value of angle y is equals to seventy degrees. Right, and that is not yet our final answer. So that is our first value. We have seventy degrees. So I will assume this one. Okay. So according to the concept of um, a circle, so vertical angles are actually um, congruent or equal, and the entire measurement of a circle is three hundred sixty degrees. Now, if this part is 70 degrees automatically its um, opposite part is 70 degrees too okay that is according to the concept of vertical angles now so to solve for the value of x since this one is 70 and this is 70 automatically the value of x is congruent to its opposite side all right so let's um write x here so they contain the same value Okay, therefore, if we have two set of 70 degrees plus two set of x, okay, we have x plus x, so the value is equal to 360 degrees, right? So by simplifying this one, therefore, it will give us 70 plus 70, that is 140, plus x and x, that is 2x, is equal to 360. So by solving the value of x, so just isolate the value of x or transpose the value of 140. Okay, so by applying APE, just subtract 140 bo both sides. Therefore, cancel out this one. Therefore, 2x, okay. Therefore, 2x is equals to 360 minus 140. Okay, and that is equals to, I think that is 220 degrees right so by dividing both sides by 2 therefore x is equals to 220 divided by 2 that is equals to 110 
degrees. And that is our final answer for this given problem. Right? So again, thank you so much and God bless.